Hello guys and welcome to this series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to look at type of IP addresses that are IP version 4 address and IP version 6 address. Along with that we will discuss about the type of IP version 4 addresses that are public IPs and private IPs. So let's begin. The IP addresses are used to uniquely identify each system present in the internet. These IP addresses are of two types. The first one is the IPv4 address and the second one is the IPv6 address. Let's first discuss about the IP version 4 addresses. The IPv4 addresses are 4 byte long where each byte is separated by a dot. The range of numbers that can be written in a byte is from 0 to 255. There are total 32 bit and as such there are 2 to the power 32 unique IPv4 addresses possible which is just over 4 billion addresses. This is also the problem with the IPv4 addresses that in our current world, the total number of devices are already much higher than the 4 billion mark. So the situation is that we have 4 billion of addresses available, but the total number of systems that are present in the internet is much higher than this number. So we need to find an alternative using which we can uniquely give some IP addresses to the system and we can uniquely identify them in the internet. Now to tackle this there are two solutions. The first one is using the IPv6 addresses and the second one is the using NAT concept along with public and private addresses. Let's first discuss about the IPv6 addresses. These addresses are 128 bit long or 16 byte long where each two byte are separated by a colon and written in the hexadecimal format. Since IPv6 addresses are 128 bit long, so the total number of IPv6 addresses possible are 2 to the power 128, which is over 340 trillion trillion and trillion. That will never exhaust. So instead of using the IPv4 addresses, we can use the IPv6 addresses to uniquely identify each device present in the internet. But there is one major challenge. When the internet was forming, then all the internet infrastructure devices like tower, routers, switches, firewalls, these only support the IPv4 addresses. To make these devices to use IPv6 addresses will require a lot of time and money. Even the IPv6 addresses were introduced during late 90s Still, in 2022, IPv4 addresses are the dominant one. So IPv4 addresses are still dominant, but how it is able to uniquely identify each device present in the internet. For that and the solution for the limited IPv4 addresses is the division of IPv4 addresses into two categories that is the public IP and private IP. These public IP, private IP and the concept of NAT works together to solve this issue. Out of over 4 billion addresses, around 18 million addresses within the three ranges are reserved for the private networks. So in that private networks, private IPs will be used and these private IPs are not routable in the public internet. And the same private IPv4 addresses can be used in multiple private networks also. To understand it, let's take an example. Consider you have a router in your home and with that router, three different devices are connected. These devices will form a private network and the IP addresses that will be assigned to it will be within that 8 million addresses or within that three different IP ranges. So let's say the device A have the 192.168.1.2 address, then another one dot 3 and another one will have the dot Four. Similar to your home, let's say you also have a neighbor in which they also have a router and with that router there are three different devices connected. Now in this particular case, the three different devices that are connected in a different private network can have the same private IP address. That is, let's say their device A have the IP address of 192.168.1.2 then .3.4. So in that case, the different private networks will be able to use the same private IPs again and again. Now let's say any device that is connected to a router wants to communicate with a system present outside of the private network. So in that particular case, 
it will set the destination address as the destination IP address and the source will become the private IP. Now when it will move to the router, it will change the source IP, the public IP of the router and then it will send it to the internet and along with that the router will also create an entry in the net. Now when the destination will send the data back to the source, it will set the destination IP as the public IP of the router and once the router gets the data, it will revert back to the original device that initiated the communication. So this conversion of public to private and private to public is done by the net present mainly in the router and with this concept we can eliminate the limitation of the IPv4 addresses that is it only have the limited IPv4 addresses. Since we are able to reuse the private IPv4 addresses again and again in different private networks but the long term goal will be to completely migrate to the IPv6 addresses. So that's all for today guys. I hope you like the video. If you have any doubt please comment it down. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.